Hi everyone, and welcome to Back to School Night. For YouTube translations, closed captions are available through YouTube in multiple languages by following the steps on the screen. Welcome to Glasgow Middle School Orchestra. My name is Alexandra Tuzinski, and I'm one of the orchestra directors here at GMS. We also have Elizabeth Dizon, who is, a one of the, is the other orchestra director. So a little bit about myself. This is my third year at Glasgow, 11th year in FCPS total. I graduated from James Madison with a degree in music education, and I'm currently attending UVA for a master's in educational psychology. In my personal life, I love reading and hiking. I love plants and my dog. Um, I've been practicing cooking and making music, but I'm most excited to be getting married in October. For Ms. Dizon, this is also her 11th year teaching and her second year at Glasgow. She went to the College of Worcester in Ohio for undergrad and Kent State University for her master's. She taught orchestra in Kentucky and is so glad to be back at the middle school level. A little bit about her is that she enjoys doing crafts, she loves Harry Potter and Disney musicals, and speaks German and Hungarian. All right, learning in orchestra. I believe that students learn best when they are open to playing music that might be new to them. They're willing to make mistakes and learn from them. They're ready to focus on musical learning during class time, and they give their best and have fun. So in order to be successful, students will need to make a regular time each week to practice their instrument, even if it is just for a few minutes. They should fully engage in our classes and revisit any of the materials for practicing later in the day that were used during our class times. Our curriculum, what will your student learn this year in orchestra? We outline that, outline that in our units of study, fundamental knowledge of instrument, knowing the parts and their function, fundamental technique and skills, how to hold the instrument, how to hold your bow and good bow placement, reading, notating, and performing music, musical form and composition, or writing music, creativity through improvisation, or making music up on the spot, being able to describe, analyze, critique, and evaluate music, sight reading, which is when you look at a piece of music for the very first time, and musical expression and style. For grading and assessments, you'll find formative assess assessments and summative assessments. Formative assessments are checks for understanding during the learning process. These will happen in class or in the form of homework done at home. Summative assessments are judgments about what content and skills were learned. We usually use our concerts um, as a summative assessment. Other feedback about how your student is organized and behaving in school will be on the report card, and this would include your student's rehearsal techniques. Teacher support. All of the following will be, able, will be available on Schoology. The syllabus, contact information, the orchestra calendar, and then lessons, assignments, assessments, and community builders. So how can you support your child? Ask questions like, what are you learning in class? Or what pieces are you working on? Show me your, your grid. Or homework, what assignments do you have to do? What do you, uh, what do you need to complete them? Let's look at your grid together. For supplies, students should have pencils, obviously your instrument and bow, rosin, shoulder rest, rock stop. Music stand is optional but highly encouraged for practicing at home and a quiet place for them to practice. There are a few course fees that are associated with this class. The first is of which is the materials fee. This fee covers consumable items such as uh, a t-shirt, instrument accessories and services, um, clinicians, subscriptions, those kind of things. And then you have the uniform fee, which is also only $15. This will purchase your orchestra polo. This is our new uniform for this year moving forward. Also great news, these payments can be made on My School Bucks starting September 7th. And so if you'd like to opt for that option, um, feel free to do so after that date. Also, you have the instrument rental fee. Instruments can be rented for $100, and this is for the entirety of the school year. For students that are part of the assistance program, you can rent for $20. We accept cash or check with checks written to Glasgow Middle School. 
a little bit more about orchestra. The orchestra frequently asked questions it will be posted on Schoology. Oftentimes that has to do with money and forms, so please don't ever hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to answer any of those questions. And communication. Email updates will be sent weekly or as needed. Please reach out to me if you have not received an email yet. All right, everyone, we're looking forward to a great year. Please let me know if you need anything, and I look forward to seeing you.